Hello viewers and welcome to Highway to Heaven 3 organized by Zuzu. Here we can see a number of teams that are attending this race and it's going to be extremely competitive. We have teams like the Kenyan Riders Bike Aid, formerly the Kenyan Riders Down Under. We have also the Team Saucy, we have Team Velonos, we have the Extra Milers with us. We also have individual entries here. This race is going to be explosive. 65 kilometers of fierce speeds. That's what we expect. The route is quite amazing, beautiful scenery, lots of climbs and drops and expertise, teamwork, skills. We really matter in this race. Let's see what the race has for us and we wish all cyclists who are participating in this race all the best. God bless you people. What's special about H2H3 is that we have one of the youngest cyclists who is 10 years old who will participate in this race. Isn't that amazing? Guys, kudos to this. And this is what we want to see in Kenya. Young talent picking up cycling. They're lined up ready to begin and there they are in the neutral zone. In a few minutes they will begin racing. And there they are, you can see the power in their legs. Let's see, the peloton is still in touch right now, but in 10 to 15 kilometers it will start to break away. There is our junior trying his best, and there is Gadere trying to break away, and he's followed by Kinja and his teammates. It's an attempt to break away, and we can see the cyclists pushing the bike up. We have Team Sosi trying to break away and there we have Thande and Karaya. But still the peloton is still intact and there comes the sharp descent. Wow, look at those fierce speeds. Gadere is still leading but it's too early because as you can see the peloton is still intact. It inclines like this that pelotons break and we can see Kinja there taking lead. Let's see how far he will be able to do this. Followed by the Kenyan riders down under team. The team is still intact, the peloton is still intact so it's still in the early stages of the ride and there there is an attempt by the Kenyan riders down under. But still, the peloton is still intact. Look at the power in their legs. Look at how in sync they are. As you can see now, uh, the peloton is like of 8 to 10 people and uh, from the huge number of like 20 to 25 and this shows that the climbs have worked wonders and is that Karaya who is trying to break away as Suleiman is trying to look for his teammate let's see what's happening here let's see if there will be action we can see Team Sosa and the Kenyan riders trying to do something here I think Karaya is trying to break away here. Let's see, actually he is. Karaya is doing it alone. Look at him, he's breaking away from the peloton. But as we usually say, it's very difficult for one man to beat the main peloton. Let's see how far he can be able to handle this. Karaya is actually doing it alone. Look at him, look at the power. Could Karaya be winning this race alone? Oh my God, Karaya is doing it. And there he is, he's won the race. This gentleman here broke away 15 kilometers to the end of the race. And we kept thinking that the main peloton was gonna catch up with him. And he shocked us that he went at it alone and he finished as the first person and he, as the first person in the H2H3 race. Why did you do that? That is unimaginable. You broke away alone and you just rode 15 kilometers to the race. 
I just felt confident because I had already trained a lot hard. So I just realized that I had a, a gap that can take me to the finish line. Yeah. 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 From Contra Cycles, keep subscribing for more of this action. Yeah!